part of our budget problem is tax credits is one component of that. I think the figure you gave, uh, Mark, was 42 million in, in FY17, and that's just in that year. Uh, the number of tax credits has grown, and uh, the governor mentioned it also in her state of the state of looking that over, and it, it is something that we need to actually go through and say, okay, how many do you have, what's that total amount, and what was the original intent, and which ones do you need to eliminate, reduce, uh, and eventually go ahead and get them out of there. And I think Tom mentioned the reason has been, obviously, usually the reason people do that, or and the governor included, uh, not this governor, but Governor Brandt said a lot of times, it was for jobs. Uh, that was his excuse for using it, where you would get, give a tax break to some company to come in and supply a certain number of jobs. And uh, sometimes that works, other times those companies come in for a short while, get the tax credit, and then leave, and then you're stuck uh, owing them those credits and not getting anything for it. Uh, the other problem is, is the $500 million that we're doing annually on the corporate income tax, out-of-state corporations. Um, you know, that was passed and, and there's no, no bill to go ahead and try to reduce that or cut back. When we have our budgets and we find out we don't have enough revenue, it, you know, it's easy to go back through with an education or, or human services or economic development and say, we don't have enough money, so even though we promised you that, we're going to have to renege on part of that. Um, Years ago, Governor Colbert did the 10% across the board, which I didn't agree with because that hurt a lot of different groups. But in other words, you go back and without any hesitation say, we need to cut back on it. Uh, there's no intention to do that to out-of-state corporations that are getting over half a million, $500 million annually off the top. And if we had $500 million more right now, we'd be flush, we'd be fine. As as we wouldn't have the emergency fund uh, needed to be replenished. We wouldn't have the problem that we're having for the funding for schools, community colleges. Uh, for human services, uh, for the Justice Department, a lot of areas. 